Okay, thanks for watching another one of my videos. I'm just going to be playing one of my favourite games growing up, which is Sonic 3 with the Knuckles expansion on it. Let's be playing it here. I think I'll go for... Let's go for Knuckles on his own. A lot of people don't think about this game. Oh, I will say at the moment as well, sorry about the quality. I am filming my laptop screen, so obviously it's not something people are used to seeing in 2011 all the capture cards etc definitely going to be getting a capture card soon so like I said sorry about that and yeah I grew up playing this is I've probably completed this game countless times I've probably completed this game well over 30 times I've just grown up and I never ever stopped playing it I've got it on multiple platforms I've got it on laptop PS3 I had it on GameCube PS2 on my Nintendo DS version so I know probably everything about this a lot of people not many people think of this expansion when they think of Sonic on the Mega Drive but personally it's probably my favorite game of all time just putting them together so you play Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles together as one game and like as you can see you can be Knuckles from the beginning oh I am usually better at that but oh skip that but as you can see you are knuckles in sonic 3 levels which you can't do in just sonic sonic 3 on its own and also the other way around as well so you can take like uh, tails you can take tails into the sonic and knuckles le levels which tails isn't in there if you just play sonic and knuckles on its own so it does work out to be one full game which is in it is intended to be Probably one of my favourite bonus stages of any game this. Always go to the left. Always get the best things. Get little rings there. Ooh, I think I missed that ring there. Yeah, Mega Drive was my first console when I was growing up. And this was probably the first game I ever completed. I love the Sonic, Sonic 3 and Knuckles expansion with it very good game because even though it's it's just a little platformer with no voice acting no cutscenes things like that you you get an idea you know what's happening in the story by just following what happens at the end of each level things like that and you know that uh, if you just play Sonic 3 you think that uh, Knuckles is with Robotnik working with it I can't seem to get up there working with him, he's against you, things like that. No, if you play them together, or if you play the end or if you see at the end of Sonic and Knuckles, you see that Knuckles has been betrayed by Robotnik because Robotnik's been in the disguise. So yeah, by the end of the game you make friends with Sonic and Tails. If you play them together it's a really big game as well. So you get probably I'd say about five Five, five, six hours out of it. And this always used to scare me this bit when I was young, where the fire comes up on the screen. <laughs> Again, I do apologise for the quality of the video there. I can see that it's not coming out very well. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever stop playing this game though, because it is one of my favourites. Well, it is my favourite, probably. I'm go for that. Oh, I'll go for that. A lot of my friends have played just Sonic 3 or just Sonic and Knuckles, but I always say that to get the full experience, you need to play it together. And it also means you can be Hyper Sonic and Hyper Knuckles or Super Tails, which you couldn't be in the games on their own. And you play it together because you get the, you collect all the emeralds and then once you move into the Sonic and Knuckles levels you start to collect the super emeralds, the bigger versions where you can become hyper. And that's really good. And there's little secret, different pathways you take if you take Knuckles on the Sonic and 3 levels just like here, straight through there, which usually you go up. So it takes you to, it's just uh, another route to the boss of the level. Oh, take that out quick. 
I know I want to play the game of keeping this up as long as you can. Let's see if I can do it. That'll do. Yep, that's the first act done. Favourite level, probably out of all of it, of the Sonic 3 and Knuckles together. I am a big fan of Sandopolis, which is the Sonic and Knuckles level. With the, uh, on the second act when you go into the, you go to the pyramid and there's ghosts, so you have to release the ghosts. I really do like that level. It's one of my favourites. But the, uh, snow level on Sonic 3 as well, Ice Cap Zone, that is another one of my favourites. It's a really good level. And that boy going in there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Now each character has their own has their own um, high points though. You can see someone's got the really high jump and the bigger speed. You can see Knuckles obviously climbing and gliding, and Tails obviously can fly. So the devs get do options like each level does have hidden things for each character, like Knuckles can climb somewhere and reach reach a bonus stage or collect a new a new uh, weapon or weapon, sorry, uh, upgrade. Sonic can jump higher so he can get in different places. And Tails can obviously fly up to different places. As you can see, Robotnik has got a disguise on there, so Knuckles doesn't know what's happening. It doesn't look the same as if you were playing with Sonic or Tails. There we go. I'll just speed this up a bit. There we go. And that's that level. On to Hydra City Zone. Always hold left when you start the level to get the bonus. Let's see if we can go to the little different version, different way that I like to go. Climb all the way up. Glide a cloth across. And here we are, onto the different ledge. It's just a different route to the, the way that Sonic goes, so it's a bit of a fresh, fresh way round. One of the best soundtracks I've ever heard on this game, even though it's a bit Mega Drive game. Always remember the music on that, and you can't ever forget it. I think I'll reach the end of this act, and then I'll, and I'll call it a day for this video. Yeah, I'd like to know what your thoughts on this, on this classic Mega Drive game. Did you play it? Do you still play it now? One of your favourites, and what what memories do you have of it? Like I said, it's one of my favourites. I'd like to get your comments and thoughts on this game. 110 rings there, my rings are building up. Got it across there. Oh, didn't mean to do that. This isn't looking safe. There you go. Got a bubble along here. Oh, that wasn't fun. So I had 110 rings, now I've got 11. <laughs> Just do this and then I'll call it a day. Always go around the blue one, you can collect the rings that appear. Get pretty intense after a while, and you can't find you can't find the blue ones. Then you start speeding up. It gets really intense, and you start losing control of yourself, bouncing around. So aim is to do it as quick as you can.
I'll just speed up quite a bit now. Put down there. 28 left. And this should be it, perfect, got all the rings there, and this is the final lot. Done. So yeah, I'd like to get your thoughts on this game, what did you think of it, just have fond memories of it. Thank you for watching, again I apologise for the way I've recorded this video, and thank you for watching this, thank you.